Breaking news to begin this broadcast with activist and lawyer Abha Singh has written to the governor asking the governor, urging the governor to not get swayed by Press Council of India Chairman Markande Karju's letter which recommends pardon for Sanjay Dutt. Now, she's gone on to say that the government is bound to take a favourable view of Karju's letter since he holds a powerful position. Remember the clamour for mercy for Sanjay Dutt has been growing but also has been growing parallel to it. Well, demand that he should not be treated favourably, he should be treated like a normal individual. Alright, let's get a check from Vidya joining us with the very latest. Vidya, just fill us in what we know at this stage. Uh, you know, this, this letter from Abha Singh uh, urging the governor uh, to not, not look at favourably this request from Markande Karchu coming through. Well, it certainly is uh, uh, what Abha Singh and her husband both, uh, Vaita Singh, have been saying is that uh, uh, since Markande Karji holds a position of a chairman of the Press Council of India and it exudes an eloquent uh, colour of his statutory authority. Hmm. And uh, this authority stems from the powers accorded to him from the Press Council Act. So using that authority, he is, uh, he is projecting his own personal views to the government of Maharashtra, which he should not have been done. And that's the reason they are requesting the governor of Maharashtra not to uh, take any cognizance of the letter that has been sent by Mr. Kardu. Hmm. And in fact, what they have also said is that, you know, it's just, just not justice, it has to be done. It has to be seen as being done. Yes. So in this case, if Mr. Kardu's uh, letter is taken, in, then probably that uh, the public in general would not view the, the governor's uh, ruling as that of being justice being given up. Well, it's an activist urging the governor not to look at favorably this letter a uh, seeking mercy for Sanjay Dutt from the Press Council of India chairperson Makande Karju. Thanks very much, Vidya, for filling us in with these details. Remember, Karju picking up a storm after seeking mercy for Sanjay Dutt. But on his part, he is standing his ground firmly. Speaking to Headlines Today's executive editor, Rahul Shushankar, Press Council of India. Uh, in fact, uh, Makande Karju is saying that he wasn't batting for Sanjay Dutt because of his celebrity status, but purely on merits of the case. Uh, the latest to have happened in this case, remember, is activist and lawyer Abha Singh writing to the governor, hoping that he doesn't look favorably at this request. In fact, Abha Singh now joining us on the phone line as well. Uh, Ma'am, go ahead. Uh, what, just what do you want from the governor? What is your request as far as looking at Sanjada's case is concerned? I have written to the governor requesting him that he should keep in mind that uh, Sanjay Dutt had taken arms from terrorists and these arms were taken in a bigger strategy of bomb blast in Mumbai and when Justice Karju writes, he writes not as a private man but it is taken that he is written as Chairman Press Council of India and therefore this gives color of statutory authority and this authority of Justice Karju is given to him under the Press Council Act 1978. So I have requested the governor that this will color his judgment and he should be very careful before deciding this issue and it should not appear to the masses that because he is a judge, the governor has been influenced. Ma'am, the, the argument of course in favor uh, as put forth by Markande Karju as well is that you know he's been uh, given clean shit by the Tata court and the only case you know which is on against him of course is for possession of weapons that he wasn't supposed to have. He's saying that he's already served time, suffered for over 20 years. Uh, and, you know, essentially is not a terrorist. See, Stada court may have dropped the charges. It was the duty of the CDI to go, have gone in appeal. But because of the political connections, the CDI has not gone in appeal. What pressures are in? Then an inquiry needs to be looked into that. And besides that, uh, the people who got the arms, uh, Samir Ngora, Nalwala, even Zebunusa Kazi, that lady in whose house the arms were kept, they have all been tried under Tada. So it is very clear that Sanjay Dutt was helped because of his connections. And that is why the charges were dropped and nobody appealed in the Court. So this uh, cannot hold ground that uh, because the uh, charges were dropped. And when he says, in fact, Justice Karju says that uh, he his only uh, guilty was that he had arms without a license. He forgets that this arm was taken from the platform which was going to go ahead with the bomb blast and it was under a bigger siege against the nation and not a simple case of possessing an arm without a license and also he had hand grenades. Hand grenades could never be used for self-defense. So these are the things which people are trying to cover up because of his political connections and star power and also to be seen in the media. Ma'am, the other aspect of course here is the vocal support which is found uh, from Congress leaders as well. Be it Digvijay saying, be fact, the Home Minister as well who said we'll, we'll offer all help possible do you think this is also an area which which perhaps you know speaks of you know, evident support for Sanjay Dutt? 
Absolutely, if you see all the politicians, they use the stars during their election campaigns, and now next year, 2014, we are due for election, and that is why all these stars are being tampered. And of course, the message which Digvijay Singh, or for that matter, other politicians also are trying to show that we have a lot of compassion and emotions. But here, in rule of law, it is rule of law which should prevail. Justice should not only be delivered, but it should be seen to be delivered. And these people should not play up. With mass hysteria and trying to get a image like that because it is it may be politically correct but legally it is wrong. Ma'am, the other, the other aspect here, of course, which is being put forth as an argument in favour of Sanjay Dutt has been, uh, you know, the kind of family he comes from, the kind of uh, you know work that his family has done in the past. He himself, uh, you know, you know, helping those in need through, through his various social programs and, and the message that he's been trying to send forth from his cinema as well. I think uh, that's an argument which works in his favour. See, they, uh, we all know that these stars have massive PR agencies doing their work. They have, they give tremendous advertisements, and it's all a PR thing which is being done. Otherwise, who has gone verified? And let me tell you, legally, only okay. the parents' uh, civil liabilities are followed. Criminal is not always done it it's because if his father has done something good, yeah. there would be numerous criminals in this country whose father may have been very good okay. and done something for the nation. But in the eyes of law, it is pure evidence which goes, and not any compassion in this. So, uh, if we are talking or saying that his parents have done good for the nation, the family has done. Okay. I think the father was already benefited by being a member of parliament. The daughter is also a member of parliament. Mm. So it is not that their social work has gone this. Yes, they have gained politically by that. And now, in a criminal case, if it is being thought of, then they are playing with the law of the land, which we should desist from.